हेलो दिस इज लेक्चर सिक्स ऑफ एम टी ट्रिपल टू थ्री लास्ट सेशन वॉट वी हैव सीन इज द नोशन ऑफ सीक्वेंस इन आर आई मीन इनिशियली अवर इंटरेस्ट वॉज टू स्टडी ऑल फंक्शन बिटवीन अ सबसेट ऑफ आर टू आर we want to do we want to study this kind of we want to study all functions then we we realized just to get some practice just to make ourselves comfortable we started studying functions whose domain is set of natural numbers as i said the, this notation is only to remind where this set is living but you already know in belongs to any subset of r so i'll remove this I'll just combine this. So now, now we want to study set of all functions from n to r. A function from n to r goes by the name of a sequence in R. This set of all sequences, this this set, we denote by is R. This set of all sequences in R. Now. Then, then what we have said is, the field structure on R, the addition, multiplication, return inverse, multiplication inverse, they induce structure on S R. I have mentioned S in last session about sum of two sequences, product of two sequences, return inverse of a sequence, multiplication inverse of a sequence that is non-zero. And then we have said, similar to the case of when we are trying to study subset of real numbers, we realized. The, the to use the completeness uh, order completeness property of the order we need to restrict our ourselves to the case where the subset we are that we are dealing are bounded bounded above bounded below all that to talk about infimum supremum we, we need to restrict our attention to the subset that are bounded above bounded below and bounded so by inspired by that idea we try to do the same thing for sr so instead of studying all subsets of instead of studying the whole whole set sr taking the order of r into consideration we restrict ourselves to certain special subset of sr which means special sequences in r the first special sequences that we have mentioned yesterday the previous session are bounded sequences a sequence is said to be bounded the sequence a is said to be bounded if there are two real numbers such that m is less than or equal to an less than or equal to m for every n belongs to So this is what a bounded sequence is. Then what we have mentioned is the notation B R or B S R. If you want to, if you don't want to get confused with the with, with B R of subset of P R, you should not get confused. Even if I don't write B S here, but still. So this B S R. is set of all bounded sequences in r then we have mentioned the structure on r induces the structure on sr now we are asking does the structure on, structure on r induces structure on bsr in the sense suppose you give two bounded sequences is the sum bounded is the product bounded and all that we have asked and after this we have come up with other set of other, other subset of sr that was monotone sequences monotonically increasing monotonically decreasing and we have asked the, the same question m is r subset of sr is the, here i should write i r d depending on whether i am talking about increasing or decreasing then we have asked same question for this also so i i, I left that as an exercise for you to check set of all bounded sequences to check if the set of all bounded sequences has a structure Similar to the SR 
sum product alt inverse modulate inverse you should check all those four similarly for this set for monotone monotonically increasing monotonically decreasing for all these three you need to check if, if the sum of two sequences of uh, two sequences of this type turns out to be of this type if two sequences are of this type is the sum this type is the product this type all these questions you need to ask right now today we will we will see two more subset of sr two subset of sr that are nice in in the in, in some sense so we have not really seen any example of any of these bonnet sequences monotone sequences increasing decreasing anything we have not seen any example so uh, i want to explain the definition of these first this monotonically increasing and, and these two just the definition for today tomorrow i mean in the next session we'll see examples of all these uh, i believe it is better to just give the definition first for all these four and give examples in the next session it will be useful for something we'll see later now we want to focus our attention to a, to a special subset of sr so what is it see if you observe suppose you take a, a subset of r a some subset a maybe i should i don't, I don't even have to write uh, this way a subset of r that is bounded below then infimum of a let me write it as l this single element of r describe the this set more or less completely in the following sense i mean the, the description is i know this l it's it's a it's a infimum so it's a lower bound is less than or equal to a for all a belongs to a and for any other lower bound s of a we have this property so this is what i mean when i say this single element of r describe this subset of r to large extent i mean if you are concerned only about the, the the elements of a with order this is this is good enough this is already saying every element of a is uh, greater than this and this is special in the following in the in the sense as mentioned in the left side it is less than or equal to l for every lower bound this element l doesn't really say what are the elements of a i mean all it can say is every element of a is uh, greater than l that is all it can say so this is this is the kind of description uh, that i that i mean when i say the single element describe the set to some extent now we are trying to do the same thing see infimum is not very special you can write uh, supremum also if a is bounded above you can take supremum if a is both bounded above and bounded below you can take you can take both bounded above bounded below you can take both now we want to do the same thing in case of sequences a into r is a sequence that for the sequence right a sequence in r is a map from n to r we say an element l belongs to r this element describe this sequence to a large extent if something happens what is it whatever happened here we want it to happen here also at the same thing there is no there is not a single difference now so what condition should we write here the idea to keep in mind is we want something like this to happen the, the the element a uh, the, this this is l here right so l is uh, less than or equal to an if we want to just simulate this we 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 have to write like this right it only says this is too much to ask in the in the sense it says the sequence a is bounded below by l but bonneting we have already mentioned before right bonnet sequence we have already mentioned here in the previous session there is an element l small m small, uh, capital m belongs to r with this property this already mentioned so uh, writing the same thing 
might not give any any interesting uh, subset of SR. Instead of asking this, we will ask a different thing. Yeah, not because it is different. We, do, we are not saying that only because it is different, but this keep on appearing at many places. So the definition is following. Consider this L. Start this with this L. Given epsilon positive, there is an element n belongs to n, such that the image of n, which we are writing as a n, this a n and L are very close after n. A n minus L is less than epsilon for every n. What does this say? This says an element L belongs to R is said to determine this sequence to uh, in, in a nice sense if for every epsilon positive there is an element N belongs to N such that this A N and L are very close. This closeness depends on what you start with after the N. For every N belongs to N, this is, the, this is the case. This niceness has the name and we call it convergent sequence. A sequence A is said to be convergent if there exists an element L belongs to R such that the image of N, A N and L are very close for N to N. What is this N? It depends on the one, the epsilon that you have chosen. Maybe I should write here n epsilon, but it should be maybe for the first couple of sessions we will write this n epsilon also. After that we will ignore. Given given epsilon positive, there exists a, a natural number such that for every n, n kernel to n, this is the case. Okay. So the definition says if there exists a, a, an element L, the, then we call it a convergence sequence. One needs to ask a question here. There may be two elements similar to the case of minimum, supremum, whatever we have done there. We try to do the same thing here also. Given a sequence A, we said this is special. If, if, if there is some element L with this property, we said this is special. We call it, we gave a name for that convergence sequence. Now the question is suppose there are two special elements, L1 and L2 belongs to R with this property. What can I say about L1 and L2? I leave it to you to check that if a sequence A converges to L and also converges to uh, L1 and L2, then L1 is equal to L2. So, this element is unique just as the for the same reason as why inform is unique, supremum is unique. Okay? So, in that case we write A n converges to L. This is, this is the notation when we want to specify that this sequence a n converges to this element l. One can write this only after you verify that for any two real numbers l1 and l2 that satisfy this property l1 is equal to l2. Only then this kind of notation makes sense. Okay. So, just in the as in the case of bounded, sequ bounded uh, sequences, we give a name for set of all convergence sequences. I am writing as CR, set of all convergence sequences. So, what should we do whenever we write some structure here and a subset here? The first thing to do is check if this subset set of all convergence sequences is it well behaved with respect to addition, multiplication, additive inverse, multiplicative inverse. Suppose a, a, a is a convergence sequence, B is a convergence sequence, is A plus B a convergence sequence? That is first question. This question is of two layers. First thing is suppose A, A n is a convergence sequence say to L1, L A maybe and B n is a convergence sequence to L B. First question to ask is, is A n plus B n a convergence sequence? That is first level in the, in the question. Second thing is, 
can you write down the 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 to what element of r does the sum converge right these two are interlinked one can make use of yeah one should guess first wait wait a n plus b n where 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 should it converge one should make a guess first then try to prove disprove whatever it is similarly see in case of bounded sequences when we are trying to prove that it is uh, the sum of two bounded sequences bounded sequence if you, if you go back and check how you have proved it that might give you some some idea of uh, how to proceed here now this is about sum of two convergent sequences one can do the same thing for product a n b n so, is a product of two convergent sequence a convergent sequence if it is so to what element does it converge does let me give another into another terminology this l is what we are calling as limit of the sequence an this term you might have seen in previous courses in different sense limit of a function something like that maybe after couple of sessions we will see whether this limit is related at all to the previous understanding of limit for your previous understanding of limit we will see that also this is this is as of now this is just a name whether it is same thing as what what you expect it to be that we will see in a couple of sessions when we when we talk about limit of a function we will see how it is related to this so that is about convergent sequences in r now this the the way i have defined the, the convergent sequences to check suppose somebody gives you a sequence and asks you to check if it is convergent sequence the, the the first difficulty comes to guess what this l is i mean if it is there it is unique but there are so many elements in r i mean how do you guess what is appropriate for a for a sequence so to get rid of this difficulty we come up with other set of other special sequences in r that will mention now right the, the issue was, issue is clear at least suppose okay convergence sequences may be, may be may be very nice and all that but here the first thing to do is we you need to make a guess where does it converge if you want to check the convergence you need to check you need to first make a guess of some real number for which this sequence might converge every time your guess may not be correct so but at least you should make a guess first so th yeah, that may that may not be very easy every time so to to compensate that we introduce another special sub, uh, sequence special type of sequences to compensate that we introduce special type of sequences that we'll write down now so what do you are trying to do certain subset of sr okay so what i said just now is we want to mention how nice a sequence is without referring to external element in the sense uh, a into r is nice if something happens so the the first thing that we need to keep in mind is whatever the, the, the something that i'm going to write here should depend entirely on this only on this data only in the case of convergence sequences there was other element l right there is an external element l so that kind of thing we don't want to do here because in that sense we want to make our life slightly easier the guessing this may be it, it may take some time it may be possible but it may take some time so we we want to think of special uh, sequence in r whose niceness is described just in terms of the sequence and nothing else no need to guess an uh, guess an element in r and all that so the definition is more or less whatever we have mentioned for uh, convergent sequences that we'll write now a sequence a into r is nice if given epsilon positive similar to the case of convergence sequence there is a, there is an element n belongs to n 
such that something happen. In case of convergence sequences, the A n and L are close by. Here, A n and A m are close for every n comma m greater than m. This niceness has a name, the name is Cauchy sequence. A sequence A from N to R, a sequence A into R is said to be Cauchy sequence. If given epsilon positive, there is an element N belongs to N such that this is the case. Okay. As I said, the examples for all these, it is intentional that I am not doing now. I have not mentioned about examples of bonded sequences or monotone sequence also. In the next session, we will see all, we will see some, we will first see some examples of sequences, then from that we will pick, we will verify which of them are Cauchy, which of them are convergent, which of them are bounded, which of them are monotone, in, monotone sequences. That list will be useful for some other purpose also that, that we will see in the next session. So, here for now, for today it is only the definition and uh, the, the, some algebraic checking that I, I said, I mentioned here, right. Once you know some definition of some nice sequence, we will collect all such sequences, we give a name for that, we have given already CR, convergence sequence in R. Then I asked you to check whether this is well behaved under addition, multiplication, little inverse, multiplication inverse. You might already be guessing what I am going to write here. I, I I have to write some name for this C A R set of all Cauchy sequences in R subset of S R. Now one need to do the same thing that we have done for convergence sequences, bounded sequences, monotone sequences, increasing or decreasing. What is that? To check if this subset of S R has a structure induced from the structure on S R is addition, multiplication, additive inverse, multiplicate inverse of these elements from this set to the land in the same, in, in the set itself. Right, this is common, you, you might have already observed. This is common for every subset of uh, S R. So, now let me just recall what, let me just put everything together sequence of R that we want to study that is very nice, but uh, considering the order on R, we focus our, ourselves to the case of bounded sequences in R, B S R. Then what we have said is, we are also interested to consider order at the, at the image level in the sense, if m is less than n, what can you say about AM, AM and AN? Is it AM less than AN or AM greater than AN? These two set of, these two variations are, are, are also interesting, monotonically increasing, monotonically decreasing. So, that, that also we will write here, monotonically, monotonical sequences in R. Increasing or decreasing, that, that depends. Then what we have seen is, we have, we have mentioned about Cauchy sequence in R, or convergence sequences first, then Cauchy sequences. So, convergence sequence in R, uh, they, they are nice. Uh, the, the motivation is, uh, we, we have taken from the definition of infimum supremum. There for a really, for a possibly large subset of R, we are judging that set just by a single element of R. An element L belongs to R is infimum if something happens. An element L belongs to R is supremum if something happens. So, the same thing that we want to do for sequences. A sequence is nice. If the, there is an element L belongs to R with certain properties that we have called as convergence sequences, we are writing as CR. Then what we have said is, this job of guessing the, the element L first, then checking for the convergence might be slightly difficult or slightly tiring sometimes. So, we want to describe niceness of a sequence just by looking at the elements A n only. So, that resulted with the notion of Cauchy sequences of R. Now, one need to ask a following question. See, all these are subsets of S R, right. The first question to ask yourself is, how different are these actually? In the sense, how different is the bounded sequence from a Cauchy sequence? 
is every Bonnet sequence a Cauchy sequence or is every Cauchy sequence a Bonnet sequence? Same questions for this also. Is every Cauchy sequence a convergent sequence or the other way? Is every monotone sequence a convergent sequence or the other way? Same thing, I do not want to repeat again saying this. But so, we want to study all these implications. Assuming it, it is true, I mean we just write some question, it may be true or not true that that will be determined only when we try to prove it. Right? This is what you want to do. The, the next thing that we want to do in the next session after giving some examples or before giving some examples, we will see what comes first later. That we want to see how different are these. Are they really same and we are just doing, we are just calling them by different names because of some personal preference or are they really different? In this attempt, some of them turns out to be very easy, they are very straightforward, they do not have a name. Some of them need some effort, some things, some implications that need some effort gets a name, some theorem, some theorem and all that with that we will see later. Some of them may not be true, you do not know, right? there are only three cases, one is it is not true, one is it is true but uh, slightly straightforward, one is it is not true one is it is true, but uh, it needs some effort. We will see next session which of them are very easy, which of them are true, but uh, it takes some time, which of them are not true. So, this is where I uh, stop the today's session. As I said in the next session, we will see some examples of uh, sequences, all this of, of this four type of sequences, then we will see at least some implications of this diagram whatever the diagram that I have written here, you will see at least some implications in this diagram, whatever is uh, very easy that we will see in the next session, whatever takes some effort that we will see in the next, next session and that is all for today.